Welcome to Contribute To. You're joining a community of artists and creators who are changing the way art lives online. You believe your passions should be supported, and we do too. Last year, Nicola Ernie co-founded Contribute To with internet entrepreneur Cosmin N. Their mission? To build a way for people to contribute to artists, causes, content, or institutions in a super simple way. This startup is all about how technology can support passion. And that's why I'm here. My name's Carrie Scott. I'm an art historian, first and foremost, and I've been in the commercial art world for almost 20 years. For the last 11, I've had my own business helping established artists like Nick Knight and emerging artists like Bindi Vora to monetize their practice and archives outside of the traditional gallery model. I fundamentally believe passion should be financially supported and rewarded. This is an art for art's sake. Artists need to make a living. And so I'm here to tell you how to make the most of Contribute To. In this episode, I'm gonna help you learn two things. First, you'll define and describe your passion, your drive, what gets you up in the morning, and really what sits at the heart of the content you create. Then you're gonna learn how to write the script for your card. This is the text that engages people and communicates why you need support. Why is this important? Because the right ask will earn you money. Now here's the goal. By the end of this video, I want you to be in a position where you know how to craft a why that could, on average, earn you as much as $2,000 for a single campaign I contribute to. That's what other artists have done. So join me. Let's walk together down the road to success on a street I like to call why. Over the last six months, we've found that the artists who generate the most contributions, they have a very distinct reason and purpose. People want to understand what they're putting their money toward. And frankly, they want to fund people with passion. So we need to find your why. We need to know what gets you out of bed. So do me a favor. Pause me right here, right now. Grab a piece of paper and write down the things that light a fire in your belly. It's okay to be vague at this point, but do take a minute, honestly, and write a couple of things down that inspire you. Pause. Now. <laughs> okay. I, I know. I hope you went away and you took a second to think about it because this is a huge existential question. It's not easy to answer. In fact, I have trouble answering this one. So I'd highly recommend you pause me again and go and watch this TED Talk with Simon Sinek. He's the real expert on this matter. At about, I don't know, 10 and a half minutes in, he explains something he likes to call the friend exercise. It's a really cool thing to try and it'll help you define why you do what you do really fast. So go check him out, pause me again, and then let's talk. Okay, so hopefully you've now done the friend exercise and you think you can communicate what it is that drives you. Now comes the even harder part. We need to communicate that to your audience. So start by asking yourself the following. What do you do? Do you make art about kittens? Do you create time-based video work? Make sure you've stated it as plainly as possible. What drives you? What do you stand for? What are you desperate to do? What makes you happy? What will the money you're raising go towards? Let's take a look at a couple examples. How do you think the following sounds? I'm an emerging photographer. I'm obsessed with the horizon line and all my images are centered on the landscape. For my next project, I wanna combine a study of the male form with the natural world and explore them in parallel. Unfortunately, traditional magazines aren't going to commission me to do this. 
I hope you'll help me start a new narrative about masculinity. This is a very good why. I can imagine the work this photographer is going to make, and I can see why they can't fund this in a traditional way. Remember, people respond and connect with goals, causes, purpose, not with vague asks. A general, the pandemic has been hard, please contribute to me, that, that doesn't work. You're not asking them to give you money. You're asking people to support your work, which they already enjoy. In, instead, think about a specific goal you want to achieve, such as saying you want to publish a book that will showcase a series that you took 10 years to amass. And then say that the series records dancers on the streets of LA. This is the sort of thing that, that's going to inspire people. So state that clearly. Here's another good ask. I'm a painter. My only subject is my cat. He's called Albert. He doesn't reciprocate my obsession. Every day for the next year, I want to paint his portrait in the vein of famous artists. Think Picasso. Mary Cascat, Basket Cat. I'd happily paint your cat too, but I'm in fact a full-time mom and teach part-time. I'd love to make my passion my nine to five. If you're as cat crazy as I am and like this concept, support my work and get more cat paintings out in the world. It'll be a better place as a result. While this is a little tongue in cheek, yeah, we made it up. It's another great ask. You can picture the work and you can totally understand why this working mom needs your help. Finally, let's take a look at a real card that exists on Contribute To. It is evocative. It is straightforward. It is, uh, it's got all of the ingredients. My goal for this year is to be the first self-represented artist and the first lens based artist to show in one of the top 10 art expos during Art Basel Miami Beach. And your contribution can get me there. Since I've already been accepted, what I'm asking for here is for funds to offset the enormous expense of exhibiting at Basel, a cost that galleries usually cover. To succeed as an independent artist, I need to foster relationships and connections with the collectors and curators who are in Miami from all over the world. To be able to show my art on this international stage will change the course of my career. So who wouldn't want to back Jason Matthias? He's determined, clear, passionate, and he has this extra element of having identified a barrier that's preventing him from moving to the next level in his work. And he's asking for help from us to smash that barrier. Everyone can relate to that, right? We all have hurdles in front of us that need moving, and chances are, if you're creative, you've defied the odds once or twice. So tell your story. Name the obstacles. I really hope that some of these examples help, and I do apologize for the silly cat references. We just know it's hard to come up with this stuff, and we wanted to add a little light. Oh, and remember, the character count is really tight here. Your description needs to be 500 to 750 characters before you have to start scrolling. That's not a ton of space, so lose anything repetitive. Cut out what's superfluous. Do your best to be short, simple, and to the point. Okay, so let's recap on what we've covered in this video. We discussed why it's so important to come up with a distinct cause. Personally, identifying what it is that gets you out of bed in the morning isn't easy, but it's important not just for your card, but for life. So go watch Simon Sinek again if you need more on that. Do the exercise with a bunch of your friends. It really will change the course of your career. We also talked about how to articulate the cause in a way that will motivate people to support you. At the end of the day, it's all about being clear, specific, honest and open, and most of all, just don't be afraid of being passionate Lay it all out for everybody. It makes the world a better place, honestly. Creativity is at the heart of society. So 
So putting this plainly on a card is a great thing to do. In the next video, we're going to give you step-by-step -step expert guidance on how to make the most of Contribute 2 by sharing your card everywhere. We found that even spending 30 to 60 minutes on these steps each day of a mini week-long push makes a huge difference in generating contributions. Artists who follow our guidance, they're making on average of $2,000 during their campaigns. Not bad, huh? Hope you'll come back. And in the meantime, good luck with your why.